¿Qué onda? This is Héctor, el chido canal is bringing you another blast from the past. Now, before we get to the match, I just want to say that this is one of the most unprofessional things I have ever done. I am completely and utterly drunk, but at the same time, this match ends up being very entertaining. And the only reason I can kind of laugh and smile about it now is knowing that nobody came out injured during this match. Val Viper and I both got reprimanded for this and rightfully so. This match is from November 22nd, 2008 for Battleground Pro Wrestling and we are wrestling against the teacher's pets, Ellen Degenerate in Arizona. The previous match that Val and I had at Battleground Pro Wrestling, we wrestled drunk, but we didn't know we were going to wrestle. We were wrestling the Cutler Brothers. You can find that match on that playlist a month before this one. Somewhere between that match versus the Cutlers and this match versus the Teacher's Pets, we also wrestled somewhere, and I believe we wrestled drunk there too and it started becoming a habit of ours and we started getting known for this so coming into this match i told val let's not drink let's wait till after the match while i was working out the match with the teacher's pets val cracked open a beer i looked over and i told him hey no 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 and he says well, well then here you drink it so i drank it i continued calling the match with the teacher's pets and I hear another and Val's drinking a beer. I drank it. He drank another. I, it just kept going back and forth. He kept, I don't know where he was pulling all these beers out of. Now I'm not trying to say he was a bad influence. I just, I wouldn't say no. These guys were super green. And for me, it was a challenge and I was up for the challenge until I started drinking. Now as we're drinking, we're going shot for shot, beer for beer, but Val looks in control of himself while I look out of control. And Fabiano, who was our manager, uh, I, I think he knew something was up. <laughs> what only us four knew, Arizona, Ellen, Val, and myself, was that I was actually hurt i had a contusion on my rib so i had taken a couple pain pills that added to the alcohol as the match kept going and we kept i was having fun man i was having so much fun the crowd was lit but as the time went on i kept sweating and i kept sweating out that alcohol by the end of the match when i take that double russian leg sweep that hurt bad at the end of the match, I don't remember shaking anybody's hands. Everybody knew how wasted we were, or at least how wasted I was. And I think this is where I start getting nicknamed the Mexican Scott Hall. Arizona was visibly upset with us and he had every right. After this, Val and I continued to wrestle for BPW, but we kept putting people over as punishment and then Maybe a couple months after that, I got really drunk again, but this time after the match and went off on one of the bookers and then we got completely just kicked out. So if you want to make it in this business, make sure to stay dedicated to your craft. Val and I, we continued wrestling together. Arizona, he had already written a book on math. Now he's probably a rocket scientist. Ellen, she stopped wrestling and ended up marrying one of the young bucks who she actually met, I believe, at this show. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you thought. Call me a dirtbag. Call me whatever you want. Just don't call me a Mexican Scott Hall. I'm from El Salvador. Enjoy. This next contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first. At a total body weight of 375 pounds, from Zacatecas, Mexico, the Chief of Val Viper and